I thought, you know what? I might just share to you how hideous I am in the morning and then how fabulous I can look with my makeup. I definitely didn't wake up like this. I've been getting lots and lots of requests on my makeup routine and my hair routine. I did do a hair tutorial showing you three of my favourite hair looks, so go check that one out. <laughs> yeah, it's if you go to my channel, you'll find it. So yeah, let's just fake our way through life together and put on a mask on a daily basis. Let's get started! So I already start with a fresh face. Occasionally I say, you are beautiful. I definitely don't. I'm terrified most days. Firstly, I like to prime my eyes with this Urban Decay Primer. Best one I've got. It's grey. Oh my god, I look like I have short hair. How cute. Mum! Come and look at my short hair. I've chopped it off. Oh my gosh. That actually looks nice. Thank you. I don't believe you. You're dismissed. Goodbye. Anyway, I then go straight in with my Naked Palette. Naked? Naked. Naked palette number two, and I make my eyes dazzle. I start off with Half Baked, it's the only one in my palette that's ran out, so I went and got a solo one. I then lighten up the corners, the tear duct of my eye, and just under my eyebrow, um, so it opens up my eye, makes it a little bit more dazzling. Then in my crease line, just do a V type shape into your crease line, don't go too far over, and it gives you a nice, sexy look. This is now the worst part of my day, the eyeliner. I'm not going to be able to even tell you any tips for this because it's probably going to go wrong, but it's A-OK. -okay. Do a V shape from your... <sighs> See? Not a good tip. Wasn't a good tip from the beginning. I draw a line from the end of my eyebrow to the corner of my eye and then I come down again over here oh my God. and into this part. And then I just attempt to make the next one look the same. That's all I've got for you. This is going to be your best friend. You use this multiple times, so don't you get rid of it. Just take this wipe, put it in your finger like this, choose whichever eye looks best, and then correct the other one to make it look the same as the other. Simple. I once pulled my eyelashes out with these. I clamp them, get them really good on there, give it a good clamp, and then slowly put it out like so. Beautiful. Too Faced officially have the best mascara ever, better than sex, and it probably is. Oh, don't I look beautiful already? No, because you haven't got your face on yet. This is my favourite part, because this is where you really start to fool people. People underestimate primer. MAC Prep and Prime is the one I'm using at the moment. I just feel like it gives me a natural radiance. And don't forget to drag this upward because the more you drag your face down, the older you're going to look and the saggy your face is going to get. And nobody wants a saggy face. Or a saggy anything. Product of the month alert! Smashbox BB Cream. I forgot the name of it, but it's my favourite product this month. I like that it's not very thick, but it gives me good coverage. Gets rid of any redness and covers up just any minor little imperfections that I may have. I don't have many, obviously. The best trick I ever learned was contouring. I like to get quite a couple of shades lighter than my skin to give me that really contoured, thin, Kim Kardashian kind of look. It's just like a magic wand. I put it underneath the eye, up to the temple, down the bridge of the nose, underneath the nose, and on the top of the lip line, on the chin, and then also here on the smile line, so I look, you know, more like a smiley Cheshire cat. The Cheshire Cat's ugly, isn't it, in Alice in Wonderland? Take your foundation brush, dab the foundation brush in the areas, do a little stippling technique. I love that word. Stipple, stipple. Stipple away. Wow, I look fabulous and so bony. Almost finished. My favorite part of my makeup routine is contouring. I know we've already done a little bit, but this is really defining. I begin with this chocolate matte Too Faced bronzer. Go on, slap it on there, on the top part of your cheekbone. I then go in with a slightly greyer tone from my Anastasia Contour Kit and put that right in the crease, like here. Right in that bit, you'll feel it, it's kind of hollow. It's not quite summer yet, so I'm going with the warmer tones for the blusher. Give that fake smile to yourself and tell yourself it's gonna be a wonderful day Get a bit of gingerly on 
and you're almost perfect. Now it's time to Kylie Jenner yourself. Take the lip pencil, put it slightly above your lip line and now colour all of your lips in with a similar tone to your lip pencil and then in the centre of your lip choose a really light colour, put it just in the centre, blot it. That's my favourite part, that makes a funny noise. It's time! It's that moment! Here we go! Wow, I feel like every male who's watching this video is like, she needs to be my wife. Or they're like, she's not gonna look like that in the morning. <laughs> but anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe. Here's a bit of shoulder for you all. Mom, keep it down, will ya? Love you guys, bye! My goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. <laughs>